you darlings hello welcome back to the vlog i hope you guys are doing well so today i just woke up it's like one o'clock because don't judge me <laughs> because yesterday i went to to do some shopping with my friend you saw and it was such <laughs> and not it was it was not successful at all it was a non-successful shopping day because nothing fits me in zara nothing fits me like everything was too small for me and it made me feel like i was the one that was i, I was fat like have i gained that much weight but my friend was like no no no, no. it's the sizing because i know that when i did the girls i could fit a medium because obviously but then again the size the girls were then and now the girls are bigger now than when i first got them done i've noticed that because the doctor did tell me after six months is when i will see my natural size so i think this is the size that i'm going to be and um so nothing was fitting me so i think i'm still a large in zara or maybe it's the pieces that i was trying on i think the pieces i was trying on were non-stretchy materials but anyway after that we headed to um asda that's where i saw this beautiful vase which i'm thinking to put over here or over there i'm not sure yet um because i have two flowers here and i don't like it i think it looks too much so i'm thinking i don't know if you can see let me show you i have a flower here and i have a flower there and i think that looks too much i think it looks too much i don't like it so I think what I want to do for this side is to get like a small lamp but at the same time I'm thinking where the, the pink rose the pink flowers are I want to get a small lamp but I'm thinking I really have a lamp here I have a lamp there and I've got these hanging lights so do I really want another lamp there or should I get like an object or something that's quite large to put on that side or should I just get rid of that table do you know what I mean that's what I'm thinking um i still haven't decided maybe i'll put it in my balcony i don't know but this summer i want to have space in my balcony i don't want to have too many things i'm even thinking about getting rid of the um, you know the, the the big so chair thing i forgot what you call it the, the big thing that i have the swing chair whatever you call it i, I want to get rid of it i'm thinking to because i don't really use it it's mainly the kids that uses it when they come here um I don't know if I should give it to my dad so they can put it in their balcony no 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 no. like I don't know yet but anyway so I really love this this was 15 pounds it's a really good size Doo -doo -doo. <laughs> I do want a bigger one as well I've seen I think Melissa's wardrobe has a really big one I think and I want something like that and I also bought this Airwick stacy solomon morning meadow i really like how this smells it smells really really elegant i have been using airwick um air freshness for my house i've been using it i've been using it for the last six to seven months no about nine months actually and i really like this because this is pure oil where the other one is i think it has too much um chemicals in it anyway i'll have it down in the description i don't know why this is not um focusing but i will leave it down in the description box down below so i got that which i'm gonna put through now but yeah i was saying that after that i went to my friend's house i made dinner i made jollof chicken and she fried the plantain so i even brought some takeaway to my house so later i think we're gonna make some chicken fried plantain and have it with the jollof and i stayed the night there i stayed the night and one thing about me like whenever i move whenever i sleep out of my home it takes me a few days to get for my body to get used to it so the first night even when i go to my sisters it's always a struggle to sleep the first night is always a struggle the second night is okay and then if i stay longer then my body starts to get used to it because i'm used to my bed and even when i come to my house it takes me a few days to adjust as well i don't know it's so strange like it just takes me a while so i was in and out of sleep and she had a prayer meeting i think at like 5 a.m and in the in the middle of her prayer meeting or like prayer yeah i woke up in the middle of it all i could hear was <laughs> she was praying going hard and i was like i looked at the time it was like 5 a.m and i was like oh my god 
So it was kind of hard for me to get back into sleep then. She's going to kill me for saying this. <laughs> it was kind of hard for me to get back in to, to sleep again. And then my face is, my eyes, you can see, is really swollen here. I've got bags. My face is swollen. Like one thing about me, when I don't sleep, my face swells up. Does, does this happen to anybody else? I find it so strange that when I don't get enough sleep, my face swells up. When I eat too much, my face swells up. When I don't move my body for a week, my body swells up. Well, my face swells up. It's so weird. Like I see everything first on my face. So I have to always keep active and I have to watch how I eat. Um, Cause something like now I feel like I feel big because my face is swollen, you know? And I don't know why my face is still swollen, but since I've been going to the gym, I feel like it's getting better. Um, my dimples coming back through. Mm. But I feel like this side of my face, can you see, is more swollen. Look, it's more swollen here. And I just, I don't know why, guys. I don't know. But your girl is working out. I'm going to try and change and swap this over. So this is the old, uh, oh, can you see me? This is the old, um, let me turn the light on. Oh, no, this is okay. Yeah, so this is the old one. And I think it's a different scent as well. Yeah, it smells really nice also. But it's done now. So I'm going to swap it over with this. I really love how... But one thing about these is that they don't last because it's quite small and they don't even fill it up to the top as you can see so eh, it's hard it smells really nice quite fresh as well so i think this is going to be really nice to have around and i usually put it on the on the first setting here just because i find that when it's plugged here the smell comes directly to me when I'm sitting down. So, and when you pass here, it can be quite overwhelming at times. So I like to put it on the first thing and I feel like this will help it to last longer as well. So I just had a shower and I'm ready to start preparing myself and doing my makeup i just made myself some green tea for the vibes and to to warm my body up as well i need to go and get some ginger tea to be honest today i didn't get any time to do anything i did my skincare i've got this i've got this massive annoying spot right there and i don't know why for a few days now and it just won't go down so um, while i'm here i think i'm going to just quickly show you what the products i'm loving at the moment so the first product I'm loving and I literally have this with me everywhere is my Chanel Le Beige Poudre this is in B70 love this love the packaging I love I love luxury makeup I just love the packaging I love that it comes with this little compact brush which fits in perfectly the color is also perfect for me I like this because it's light and it's not it doesn't make me look cakey and it doesn't add too much to my makeup this is literally to just block shine and remove excess oil i love it and another product i love is my pat mcgrath foundation which is what i'm going to use today this is in sublime perfection and i'm in number medium deep 25 this is definitely um something that i love this was kindly gifted by pat mcgrath thank you so much and also i i'm almost out of this Too faced um multi use sculpting concealer in warm sand love love this it's a beautiful um rich light highlight color so i use this as a highlighting um color for my face also i love my lip oil by dior this is in rosewood i also do like the cherry um it just it's a really nice thick base of oil um the price however <laughs> is up for discussion because they are really expensive these are like 35 pounds but i personally love it i just do feel like though for 35 pounds the package the this container bit could have been a bit longer it could have been up to here full of product you know so that's something that i love and also i love my is this the one yes this is my chanel rouge coco flash lipstick and it's in a nude color like this now i don't know why i always apply my lipsticks this way 
my lipsticks always tend to be like this. I kind of like it when people use their lipstick and it's kind of like round, but I don't know how to do that. My mum used to be very good at that. Like she would just apply her lipstick and naturally it would get into that shape. But I think as I do this, maybe you're meant to do it flat. I don't know. But yeah, this is a really nice hydrating lipstick. I think I might wear this today as well. Also, what am I loving? I've been loving this e.l.f. Power Grip Concealer. This is the dupe to the Milk is it milky hydro hydro milk i can't remember but this is a dupe and it's so so good i used this when i was in congo my makeup did not budge and what else have i love have i been loving i've also been loving these elf hydrating concealers they look like so mine is this is a hydrating cameo concealer mine is deep olive yeah and i also have it in medium warm this is like a really light inner corner highlighting color not sure if i'll use it today but i do love that also i do love my Giorgio armani foundation i've been using this for the longest time this was also kindly gifted from the brand love this uh foundation one of the best um what else have i been loving i've also been loving my dior rosewood lip maximizer as you can see it's almost done this is also another one that I really like and I've also been loving my uh, Huda Beauty. This is Angel Cream Lipstick. Looks like that. This was also, sorry, kindly gifted. It's a very creamy nude lipstick. Beautiful. Very, very creamy. Very soft and hydrating to the lips. I really love this um i think that's everything that i have been loving at the moment oh no i've also been loving this nars um putacana bronzing powder as you can see i've hit the pan this is so good adds a really nice rich color to my face to my makeup and lately i've been loving my chanel poudre universelle I've been using this as an overall powder and to um, set my under eye. As you can see, it's a loose powder. I've had this for a few years actually. And yeah, I do really love this. And also I've been loving my Pat McGrath. This is the uh, Fetish Sublime Perfection Setting Powder. This one is rich in colour, as you can see. I really love this for setting my under eye as well when I want that yet that when I want that rich yellow um, sort of tone and also I do like this prep and prime Givenchy uh, glow mist I use this a lot as a primer also I'm gonna go ahead and just spray it now so you could use this as a primer on its own as you can see it adds like a, a cast to the face i'm just gonna add a little bit more on my forehead like so and just bring it down all right let's go ahead and do my makeup i'm gonna just play some music because i started to do my hair figure out what i'm going to wear so let's go
I don't know if this has ever happened to you where you're getting ready, you do your makeup, or you start doing your makeup, but you don't like it. My skin just feels so dry and it looks dry. Why is the makeup just cracking through my skin? So I'm gonna quickly just put my, um, what's this, Garnier Skin Balm Moisture Face Mask. This can, yeah, I'll leave it for 15 minutes. I still have two hours to leave, so it's fine. Thank God I started getting ready early. So now I'm just gonna throw this on. This is one of my favorite um, drugstore face masks because it's just so, it's very, very hydrating. And I need to go back to treating my skin to face a face mask weekly. And um, I usually use this when I'm going out. Without a doubt, I always wear a face mask. This is the best way to get moisture to your face. So I'm gonna leave this in for about 15 minutes. Probably make myself a hot drink. And then I will get ready to go. I haven't, and I find, I don't know about you, but I find that if I haven't worn makeup for a while, the first time I put makeup on, it always feels and looks horrible. Like, I don't know why. And today was one of those days. I know you saw me put in the foundation. Do you know what it is? Once I put in, I look so scary. Once I put on the cream blush and the contour, I knew it wasn't gonna work because the base wasn't basing. So, and I need, and because I have a cold as well, my skin is dry. Um, so I'm just gonna leave this in, make myself a hot drink, take this off. I'm gonna do a quick 10 minutes beat because I won't have enough time to do my hair and to do my makeup, figure out what to wear as well. So I will see you guys in a bit. It looks nice though. Really? Yeah. Is it not too Babe, I had to start the whole thing again. What the whole it? thing. You yeah, know what? Huh? Did you not choose a bag? guys i am ready and going to put my jewelry on i'm wearing my monica veneda earrings like i showed you earlier 
I managed to find an outfit. I don't feel like being dressy. So, as in like I didn't want to wear a dress. So I opted for my open back caramel and blazer with my Zara leggings. And I'm going to put my Dior heels on. And I'm going to carry my Givenchy bag. How beautiful is this earring? Look at that. Stunning. I really love it. I love the colour as well. It's very vibrant. I honestly love Monica Vineda pieces. They do very good quality jewellery. So, to for fragrance, I'm going to do my Nest. This is Nest Jasmine Perfume Oil. I'm just going to put a little bit here. I don't want it on my necklace. Anywhere that, oh, this smells so divine. It's one of my favourites. I'll put it there. I like to even just run my fingers through my hair just to get that scent onto my hair. And for perfume, I'm going to put my Monica Vineda rings on as well. You guys have definitely seen this before. I'm going to put that on. And some Cartier on the finger. Just like that. I was thinking to wear my Cartier watch, but I think it would be too much. For fragrance, I'm going to do... This is Habana 500. It's an Italian brand. So I'm going to do this. What is this? Oh, it's glue. I'm going to do this as a uh, perfume extract. The bottle reminds me of um, a brand, but I don't know. But this, you've got to be careful because it actually stains. But it smells and it's blue, so... I'm just going to spray like that. I think I might... You saw this in the vlog. Oh. I might spray this. This actually reminds me of Poison Girl and Givenchy uh, L'Inter... Is it Interdit? L'Interdit Extract. <laughs> I wish I bought the smaller one, but I didn't have it. But just be careful not to spray your earrings because it fades the colour. <laughs> My eyes feel very funny. I think I'm going to take with me Delina. Actually, no. I'm going to take with me Club de Nuit extract for when I feel like I need to top up my fragrance. Okay, I'm going to cream my feet and go because I'm running late. Mwah. I'll see you when I get there with my babes, Katty.
God, I'm back to you. Hmm? It is all over the place. You are really like this. Careful, careful, you don't want to get on your top. Mmm. See, boom. Where are we going? Yeah, I like it with them. Oh my god, why is it so stuck? What do you drink? It's because there is the tail on that side as well. Even though you and I committed to each other. No. <laughs> oh. Don't say it to me. <laughs> Sorry, I was yeah. listening <laughs> to the receipt. I don't know. Sometimes I feel like, like I get what you guys say when you say that. Oh my God, it's usually like my friend in my head. I feel like these girls are my friends in my head. Um, I'll link it down below if you are interested. But anyway, babe, welcome back to the vlog. I hope you guys are doing amazingly well. I certainly am. Um, God is so good and your girl has just... Oh my God, it's so windy outside. What is happening? Hey! Jesus. So I just came back from a, a quick weekly shop in Lidl's. I don't know, but I love this cappuccino. I just managed to get my little cappuccino. I got some onions, which I need to put in here. I feel like these tomatoes. They said to put your um, tomatoes and onions out, not in the fridge. And I feel like since I've been doing that, this is fine. I feel like things are just going off very, very quickly. I don't know why. I need to stop shouting. I'm really working on myself, guys. I feel like I want to change how I speak. I really want to improve on how I speak, how I project my voice. I want to, how I um, control my thoughts, the things that I think about. I don't want to, I'm on a journey. Because someone asked me the other day on Snapchat, 
and said, oh, like, can you give me some level up tips, blah, blah, blah. You know, I'm all for helping you girls and for all of us to level up. But when I'm not in the right place, I'm not going to advise anybody to do or to be what I'm not at that particular moment. Do you know what I mean? So I said to her, like, I'm on the journey and I'm working on myself to become better, to level up also. So I will be um, including those in my videos you know i wanted to like sit down and talk about it but i think it's just vlogs are my thing right now i want to just focus on vlogging um everything else will just be included in vlogs for now when i do feel like i want to create separate videos then i'll do them for sure even if it's randomly i will do it but i think for now my comfort is not even comfort like i feel like i'm really enjoying the process of vlogging so I got some microfiber cloths because the ones I've, I've had here, I've had for a long time and I need to switch them because I feel like these things can build bacteria. And then I got some raspberries. I really wanted some strawberries, but I got some raspberries because I'm going to have it with my creamy natural Greek yogurt. I heard that this is the best one. So I like having this. And also my addiction. This is the only thing I snack on sometimes, which is the Belgian waffle uh, biscuits from Lidl. And then I also got some blueberries because they're really good for you. And I got some multi-surface wipes because I'm always getting out these cloths and getting my hands wet. And sometimes I don't want to do that just to wipe the surface. So this is gonna come in handy, especially for this high table. And then I've got some toothpaste. I need to order my actual toothpaste from Amazon, but in the meantime, I'll just use that. And then I got some um, sweet mixed sweet peppers, bell peppers, because I think I'm gonna have Chinese for dinner today and I wanna make prawns with that. So yeah, as I was saying, I really want to change or improve myself. Self-improvement is really important. And I'm gonna take you with me. <laughs> self-improvement is really important this is something that has been on my mind Ooh. it has been on my mind for a long time and i want to be and i want to be the best that i can in everything that i do i want to be the best version of myself I want to be a douche in the best ways that I can. So doing this is really important to me. Um, mental health is so important. I feel like we don't talk about mental health enough, especially in the black community. And I think especially in Christian, in Christianity, we don't discuss mental health. I feel like every time somebody says they're going through a hardship mentally, it's like, oh, you know, you're not a Christian enough. You're not Christian enough for you to be feeling like this. Like, God is there. Why would you feel empty? Why would you feel blah, blah, blah? That means you're not praying. That means you're not fasting. And I feel like we need to encourage and understand people and give them that human support, you know? It doesn't mean that if someone's going through a hard time mentally that they don't know who God is, that they're not a real Christian. I feel like we need to stop judging people as Christians. You know, I, I disclaimer, I'm not saying that Christians christians are bad people i'm not saying that as christ as christians we we don't love one another what i'm saying is that we can do better we can do better because people just love to judge and i don't think that's right but one of the things that i wanted to discuss today was as we get ready um was like personalization of 2024 i wanted to initially do a sit down video about this but I was like, you know what? I'm going to just talk about it now because it makes sense. You know, 2024 for me, is all about personalization. It's all about personalizing my year to doing the things that I want. For example, 2024 is a year that every woman needs to learn how to do the basic, how to do basic hair, like basic wig install, like the install. Every woman needs to know, babe, it's, I'm not being funny, but like, do you have to go to the hairdressers every time you want to do your hair? 
I understand for special occasions, yeah, you can go to the salons. But every time I want to go to dinner, date night, why do you have to go to the salons? Why do you have to book a makeup artist when you can save that money for yourself and actually learn a new skill and invest in yourself? I don't understand why. Why do you have to depend on hairdressers? Like, I personally don't really go to the hairdressers unless there's a, there's a particular style that I want to do and, and I cannot do it myself. Then I'll go to the hair salon. Ooh. Oh, hey. Mm, and an email interesting email just came through i like this this is nice <laughs> yeah like it is important Th these are my glow up tips that i am taking in myself i'm embracing these tips to be better like learn to do your own hair in 2024 you don't always have to rely on hairdressers to do your hair um for special occasions when you want to look different why not but for every day lunch dinner date nights babe learn to do your own hair learn a new skill which will make you feel empowered that's not do you know what i mean it's not on why why would you want to rely on other people to make you look beautiful you should learn your own face learn the type of makeups that you you like try an error that's what it is you're gonna try it. you're gonna make mistakes but you, you'll get better the more you do it i didn't always know how to do hair but i watched the videos i learned all these skills that i needed to you know another thing that i wanted to discuss another thing was personalization of your routine i feel like I feel like 2024, just do what makes you happy. But at the same time, I feel like learn about who you are. Because I see on TikTok, Instagram, all these girls making videos about getting up at 5 a.m., 6 a.m. to go to the gym. I'm not going to lie to you. I've tried it a few times and I'm like, hey, ciao. This is not for me. This is not for me. I'm not a 6 a.m. babe and I'm not going to force myself to become a 6 a.m. babe. So I have like I operate better when I wake up around 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock. So I know that I can go to the gym around 8, 9 o'clock, which might be late for some people. But I know what I'm like. When I had a norm 9 to 5, I would get up at 6 a.m. and go to work, blah, blah, blah. But it's because I had to do it. Do you understand? But with the gym, it's completely different. So I prefer to be at the gym around eight, nine o'clock. So that's when I would go to the gym because I'm better, I'm more energetic. I can focus on my workout. I feel like we're so caught up on adapting to everybody else's routine that we don't get to create our own routine. Creating your own routine is about personalization. It's about personalizing your lifestyle for you to best suit you. So why should I feel ashamed that I don't wake up at 5 a.m.? Why should I feel ashamed that I don't wake up at 6 a.m.? It doesn't make sense that's not who i am let's stop trying to embody other people like we can take on like i always say when i watch videos on youtube or whatever i take on what i can and what i feel like i can fit into my life take the tip and i will fit it how best how it best suits me you know if i take something from somebody advise whatever i will always best fit it to me i may not take the advice exactly how they said it so if, for example, if someone says, oh, you know, I wake up every day at 5 a.m., go for a walk, go for a run, then I come back, do this. I might be motivated by their lifestyle choices and um, the choices that they've made, but I'm going to alter it to me. I'm going to tailor it to me, to fit me, Idrish, you know? And I think that's really, really important. And another thing is, like, everyone was trying to tell me, oh, you should join a class at the gym, blah, blah, blah. Like, I personally don't like classes. I don't. I don't like it. This is why I think I haven't gone to do Pilates because I don't like that kind of environment. I've been to a class before and I didn't enjoy it. And so it's not like I haven't given it a chance. I have given it a chance. It's just not my thing at all. Like, it's really not my thing. We're going to just wash the fruits because I'm going to have my granola. Like, it's not my thing at all. So 2024 is literally all about personalization, girlies. Personalize your life for you. Have your personalized a signature scent. Um, have your personalized signature hair. Personalized signature makeup look. And I will, I will create, like, sit-down videos where we can talk about these things. And as much as I'm doing it to help you, I'm also doing it to help me you know because i really want to personalize my life 
Oh my god, are you kidding me? Most of these are off. You're joking me. Guys, most of these fruits are off. I'm not going back outside. It's so windy. I have to throw some away. Are you kidding me? In this recession? Nah, this is taking the piss. It's all off, literally. The majority. I'm going to take it back to the shop though. This year, I really want to push myself and I really want to be soft as well in everything that I do. I know that, you know, I've always spoke about soft life and the importance of being softness, but I feel like I kind of lost that a little bit. So I'm just making my granola. I feel like I lost that softness a little bit, you know, um, and I really want to work on becoming a soft woman and finding softness in everything that i do it's just it's what makes me a douche i can't run away from that i can't um i can't deny myself of softness you know it's really really important to me softness is really really important to me in my relationships in in everything that i do you know how i speak to myself how i show up for myself like it's all in softness and and I want to be that girl again you know be excited about life again because I feel like I, I wasn't ex I haven't been excited about life for a while I haven't been excited about things for a while and I want to go back to I want to go back to that you know I want to enjoy life I want to enjoy with my friends enjoy it with the people that i love the people that i care for and yeah and meet new people as well definitely meet new people make new connections definitely that's what life is about you know life is about going out there enjoying every moment with the people that you, you love meet new people and just ex and create new memories like that's something that i really I've made a conscious decision about. Um, so yeah, that's what we are going to be doing. I want to show you some PR packages which I have received. So I also wanted to talk about personalizing your wardrobe. Like I know we talk about these things all the time, personalize your wardrobe, personalize your nah, 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 but like there's just so much truth into it. It's so important to personalize your life, how it best suits you. Um, you don't have to follow the trends, babe. You really don't have to. Like, I personally don't always follow the trends. I have my own style, you know. I know that there are girls who are super dressy. There are girls who are super um, fashion-y. There are girls who are, like, all about the trends. Like, everyone's allowed to be whoever they want to be, you know. And I, But I feel like social media will make you feel like you're doing something wrong because one thing i've noticed is that i'm not being funny but like everybody everyone is dressing the same everyone is dressing the same outside everybody's wearing the same things and it's like we all have one identity and this is why i personally don't like to follow trends because trends does that to you you go out there and you're all wearing the same thing as if it's a uniform. Like, what the hell? You know, I, I this year, I'm all about creating my own identity. But it doesn't mean that if I see a trend, which I like, and I'm not going to follow it, of course I will. But I'm just saying that, you know, let's be... Um, let's find our own individuality. Let's find our own... Do you know what I mean? Like, who we are at the core let's create our own fashion trends you know wear whatever you want to wear as long as it looks respectful as long as it looks it's in proportionate with your body as long as you look presentable i don't see anything wrong with it when we create videos or when i create videos it's just to guide you it's just to guide you to, if you want to be um 
if you want to be classy if you want to be elegant my videos are for those type of women you know you might be edgy but still want to be classy so i'm sure you can still take something from my videos oh no did i forget the honey i think i forgot the honey oh no 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 luckily i have a little bit here that's really annoying guys that is really annoying but anyway this is my granola so i'm going to put some almond oh almond flakes I'm going to put some coconut flakes like that and then followed by some honey for some sweetness we're just going to put a little bit like that that's it 